Hi guys. Um, welcome to my sort of review of, um, of the of the Leap Motion. I've just um, just just got it today, so had a quick sort of play around and um, sort of give you an idea of what it's like if you if you're thinking about buying one yourself. Um, you first of all, once you've unboxed it and sort of connected it up with the with the USB, um, which is just down there, to give you an idea of what it is. Um, okay, I don't know the best way to sort of do this to show everything. Um, so I'm just filming this on a on an HD cam, so hopefully it'll come across okay. Um, the first thing you do once you've connected it up with the comes with a short lead or a long USB lead. Um, I'm just on the short lead at the moment. Um, it's um, so I've just got the short lead there. Okay, just give you an idea. And the it comes with the, once you once you get it, you have to um, connect with um, LeapMotion.com setup. Which you get this card there, it just sort of tells you to do that. Um, and that basically uh, downloads the software, or firmware, and you can either download it software for um, Windows or for Mac. Um, I normally use Windows, but I bought the Leap Motion for Mac, but I suppose I could put it on Windows if I decided to use that um, for use the Leap Motion for that. So anyway, um, you get to a section called um, Airspace Home, which opens up, um, which is like a hub for um, for for this um, Leap Motion. Um, it comes with Airspace Store, um, which is basically where you get the apps, games things like that, uh, some of them are free, some of them you would have to pay for um, there's an orientation section which is basically the first section of it um, of when you first start up just to see what it's like um, a bit called Lotus um, a lot of these are sort of um, and a, bit, a lot of these are sort of um, getting you familiarised with how it works and what to do and, um, more like educational things, I would think. Um, anyway, let's just start um, quickly. Um, I won't go to the Airspace Store because it's just like any sort of app store, um, similar sort of layout and things. Um, the orientation bit, this is basically a sort of starting off. Um, and this just gives you an idea of how it um, works. So. And you just, if you can see this, wave your hands over it, and that's where you know, I'm quite a distance away from the leap motion. So it's picking it up quite a, quite a bit. If you can get an idea. I don't know if this was the best way to film it or not. But anyway, okay, that's that. I think that's just giving you an area of scope of how the leak motion can detect possibly just so I'll stay on for quite a bit right we've got the next one okay similar sort of thing again um, sort of shows your sort of Skeleton hands, a bit like you know, a minority report feel, I suppose. Um, again, I'm quite a distance away from the leap motion, and uh, that's picking me up um, quite well. So, it's that bit. Okay. Thing, you move your finger towards it. I'm a lot nearer to the yeah. So that's quite 
going to be quite near us. I'm leaning over the camera quite a bit to get there, but yeah, that's pretty. If you can get an idea of of that on the camera. So it's pretty good. Um, the cut the rope, um, I just quickly put that on. Um, it does seem to be quite quite fast. I don't know if you've anybody everywhere uh, used touch touch screens. Um, it's probably better with this than it is a touch screen PC, possibly. Um, like he says, there you go. So I'm not going to do it for the level, just there. Uh, so that's quite an issue. That's quite good, that. Um, let's see if we can get out of here. And close that down. So we don't want to be stuck with that all day. Um, the molecules bond is more like a training. It sort of shows you that's like a, a DNA. Um, and you can sort of move it around and, you know move it back and forward and whatever you want to do with it so there's a lot of different options on there um, again more like a sort of learning quite good for schools and things like that I suppose um, and this one here because some of them are, this one here I just downloaded um, from the airspace store and this is the sort of cyber I haven't even done any of this, let's have a look. So, place your palm hand to stop navigating, close your fingers in. Alright, oh, just sort of tells you what is the different parts of skeleton things. I say a lot of frontal bone. Yeah, a lot of it's sort of sort of learning. Um bits at the moment I say you can buy some games. Don't know what it's like for browsing if you can if you can do that as yet. Um but generally it's 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 pretty yeah it seems pretty good. Um but you obviously make up your own mind so sort of this is just a you know, it's a quick sort of overview of what it was like, um, but it seems to be quite, quite responsive, um, probably better than the Connect, and um, you know, it could be, could be quite, you know, better than the sort of touch screens and things like that that we've got at the moment. So, yeah, maybe, um, maybe worth investing if you've been thinking about it and just don't know exactly um, what it's like. But yeah, I'd say maybe, maybe. You should, Maybe you could um, try it out and see what it's like. Okay, that's it. Thank you.